Hey guys, what's up? I to Tron here from Clash of Clans Manual, and uh, this is part two of my how to use Go Lalunian. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people uh, uh, they ask me, you know, they see great attacks, easy three stars, but they seem to mimic the exact same things, but get one and two stars. Um, but it's the little things that change the results. Uh, you might think it's easy to mimic, but there's a lot of little things that can screw up your raid right away. So this video we're going to focus on some of the little things. And also, it, unlike the first video, we're using two golems instead of one. Uh, which is another thing that differ differentiates it from the first one. So, uh, huge, huge, hugely powerful strategy right now. So I wanted to show you guys another example. Um, once again, using one of my attacks. And um, first thing I'm going to do here is drop my two golems. And, um, I do have a jump spell, and eventually I'm going to put it down right here, but I don't do it at first. I, d I put that down eventually, but not at first. And the reason why is I want my golems beating on the walls. I don't want them to bunch up in this area, because when they're in there, they're not tanking as much. And I need them to spread out, stay spread out, so I can create my funnel. Um, I can drop a wizard here, a wizard here, uh, create my, or wizard more like right there. Um, create my funnel that way. Because, uh, if they both go, both go straight in, uh, you know, it's going to be harder to create my funnel. I can't create it as wide. Also, if they're going in right around this area, they're taking more damage. Now this expo is locked onto them. Now, um, this archer tower is locked onto them. Mortar. There's more defenses shooting at them, the queen also. I don't want all those defenses shooting at them right away. I want time for my troops behind them to take out the trash buildings and also start to make their way in before I do that. So that's why I'm dropping those two golems there like that and waiting on the jump spell. Don't drop that jump spell right away. And if you can, spread out your golems like that. Uh, wizards to create my funnel. Then just drop my heroes. I'll just use the same color. Heroes. And a few wizards behind them. Just like that. Then I'll drop my jump spell. Um right at the same time I might do right at the same time as my king, because the king tends to stray off on you, so have it down by the time the king's going down. And get everything in there. Got a little bit lucky on the lightning spell because all the troops bunched up. Had some minions, some archers. Drop the the uh, lightning spell right in this area. And then um You'll see what ends up happening is, uh, I was hoping to maybe take down two air defenses, that's why I brought a separate golem. I was hoping my queen would wander over and take out this air defense, because I know this one's going to go down no matter what. But I got at least this one air defense, got the queen, and I took out pretty much all these defenses right here. And what that allows me to do is when I send in my lava hounds, um, I'll use pink, when I send in my lava hounds like that, um, I end up sending them in like that. Basically... My balloons can target this air defense first. I can send balloons right here that go straight to that air defense. And the important thing in a Lunian attack, most important thing, is that there's two things, I guess I should say. One, uh, where the air defenses are located, if they're tanking, uh, because your lava hounds are going to sit there, so they better be in the middle of all the defenses. And look where this air defense is. We got the expo, the archer tower, the wizard tower. Another archer tower. These air defenses are right in the middle of the base. They're right in the middle of all the action where all the defenses are. So, in that way, um, my air, my lava hounds will always be tanking. But also, I'm able to get my balloons in there quickly so my lava hounds don't get shot down by that air defense too long. First balloons I put down are targeting that air defense right like that, um, which is huge. That allows them to stay up longer and tank. Cause it's all about taking for those balloons and keeping your balloons alive because they're dealing the damage for you. Anyway, I just go in this motion with balloons, um, and I drop two rages where they, they kind of clump up. I like to drop my rage spells early. I drop one right here, of course, because a lot of commotion right there, a lot of defenses. And then I drop it right here. Maybe could have waited till right here because it's more concentrated. But I like dropping them early just because the rage are decided 
earlier. And by this time, you know, my balloons, once they're there, they're taking it out. I just thought I might need to give them a speed boost right here. So I, when in doubt, drop your raid spells early. And then um, it was just clean up from there. So hope that made sense to some extent. We'll take a look at the attack, and that'll probably help clarify some things. And I'll also point out uh, what I talked about on the drawing board while watching this attack. So um, let's take a look. All right, number 37, right here. All right, this was a first attack, I'm going to say that. So I didn't know where everything was. Anyway, golem's down, no jump spell, waiting on that. Wizards to create the funnel. That's all good. Uh, queen goes down. Not my funnel is broken. I'm going to drop that jump spell, drop the king. Everything's going straight in. But look, the golems are still at almost full health. Uh, and they're going in. Just a second earlier than my kill squad, which is what you want. Don't have them go in prematurely. Um, so they're tanking good. Got lucky. My minions and everything, they bunch up really nicely here. So that lightning spell takes out the entire clan castle. Uh, use the king's ability early because he will uh, die very quickly. So use that king's ability to get the full benefit early. Golem still tanking, which is nice. Got wizards backing them up. Um, my queen, I was hoping she'd go for the air defense and the expo. But instead, she's going to shoot at the king, and then she'll go to the other side. Uh, but what they did was important. Look, the defenses by that air defense are down. Now my first balloons are going to be targeting that air defense, and they're going to help the first lava hound I drop stay alive. So here comes the first lava hound. Three balloons right to that air defense. Nowhere else to go. And if you can clear out a direct path to an air defense, do it. It's super important. Look, lava hound has half health, or maybe about a third health, but it's still alive. Um... And that it's running over to the next air defense, taking up air traps, just doing awesome. Still have two full health lava hounds. And look, these balloons are going to go right over to that air defense. I'm going to have one and a half lava hounds uh, by the time they're going to that last air defense, which is awesome. Drop that raid spell early. Uh, just because I wanted to give my balloons a speed boost so they could follow those lava hounds quickly to the other side of the base. Um, lava hounds are still tanking wonderfully. Got those back-end balloons coming. Don't drop them all too early. Spread them out. Uh, drop them, you know, along the outside, around the perimeter. And um, last Lava Hound, still up, but watch this. It's going to bust just in time to give me more pops for cleanup. Uh, I had about 15 to 20 seconds left. Um, and uh, if that Lava Hound hadn't have busted, it would have been a lot closer. And for those of you that are running out of time, my only advice is, um, you know, once your kill squad's going in and you've dropped everything, um, unless there's still one air defense that's they're shooting down that's going to directly affect the beginning of your lava t hound attack, um, just start dropping your lava hound, start dropping your balloons. Uh, don't wait for your whole kill squad to die. I waited a little bit too long, um, and typically you want to, right when, like, you know, everything's almost done, you know, the queen's about to die, that stuff. Get those lava hounds and balloons out there. Don't have a big delay between the two parts of your attack. Um, so, we'll take a look at it one more time, just because um, I paused it a few times, want to clarify a few points. Um, here it is. Uh, golems, wizards backing them up, um, creating my funnel, uh, jump spell, that's all good, letting my troops into the middle. And um, for, the, for the golems, I want to make this point. Drop them, spread out enough that they're going to be able to allow your wizards to go wide and create a good funnel. But don't have them too spread out because you want them to use that jump spell. If I drop the golem all the way over by that cannon, it's, there's no way it's going to use that jump spell. So know that your golems are only going to go so far. And it just comes from practice knowing that. Uh, know how far they'll go to take a jump spell, and use that to your advantage. They Both golems will actually go and take the jump spell. Um, what else do I want to point out? Um, like I said, it's almost as important as taking down the air defense as creating a direct path to your balloons. Had there been another defense, those balloons would have taken much longer to get to that air defense. That lava hound would have busted. Look what this lava hound does. It soaks up all these air traps which is awesome because it's so low on health, those air traps are being wasted. 
They're not shooting at balloons or full health lava hams. They're shooting at, uh, they're blowing up just a almost dead lava hound. He did have those traps on air, but that happens. Your lava pups will help clean that up, and hopefully they'll go for your lava hounds, not your balloons. And um, yeah, I guess if there's lower level air defenses, uh, bring a max golem in your clan castle if you can get one, and just bring your own level two lava hounds, just because. It helps to some extent if they bust a little bit earlier. Um, when in doubt, bring a higher level Lava Hound is my advice. Because um, I think there's a bigger difference in the Lava Hound because you get more pups, not just more Lava Hound health. Whereas for the Golems, you get two Golemites either way. So I would recommend just uh, when in doubt, bring the max Lava Hound. But if you're looking at really low air level air defenses, uh, bring... Uh, the max, um, <clears throat> sorry, the max golem, and then uh, just bring your own level two lava hounds or level one or whatever you have, assuming that your clanmates donate max troops. Anyway, uh, going off a bit of a tangent there. I uh, hope you guys like this attack. Hope it's a good model. If you want to see another one, just ask. I'll post. I have lots at my disposal. Um, might be looking at a uh, war recap coming out soon. We'll see. Um, going on vacation.